Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Randy the Mobile Traveler. Guess what? I'm back at it again. The rig that Joni had purchased to be her tow vehicle sprang a leak. So, I'm in the process of changing out the water pump. 1996 Tahoe. Let's, uh, let me turn you around here and show you some of the process and we'll talk. This time we will talk while I do it. <laughs> well, you guys might hear some wind noise. I am in Arizona. Just got done raining. But I figured I better get this done as long as there's a little bit of sun. And that way, Johnny will be able to drive it with no issues. Hey, uh, a water pump isn't that tough of a thing to change. I've changed quite a few of them in my day. <laughs> I have no idea how many. But you can always tell when a water pump leaks. Let me get this last bolt started. And then I'll show you the old one. So, I think this old one has been on here since, uh, since it was new. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, you can. But you can see the gasket around it. It's just falling apart. And the leak was coming right from the back side. Right, this is the bottom right here. You can see because of all the all the gunk. You can see that's exactly where it was leaking at. And before I took it off, I mean, you see the rust spots down here, right in here, and the gasket is just terrible. It's just falling apart. Anyway, changing a water pump is not, like I said, not that tough a thing to do. You just got to make sure your water hoses fit right. Everything is on the up and up as far as placement of everything goes. And I checked that already. And right now I'm hooking up the hoses. Sometimes it's not that fun to do. Sometimes you got to hook it up first. Which I should have done, but I didn't. Because I would have had to take, to get this hose off, you'd have to take this pulley off. and That's just more work than I want to put into it. You backyards mechanics know what I'm talking about. You try to do it the easiest way, but the best way, the right way. Anyway, hopefully, this will be the only thing that goes wrong with this Tahoe for Joni. That would be fantastic. And right now, I think that's it. As far as I can see, everything else is working really, really nice. She got a small oil leak, but I think it's I think it's the oil pan gasket because she's pretty filthy. But I won't know for sure until I dive into that a little bit more. Which I'll do in time. Get this hose on here. So I bet you some of you people are wondering. What some of the changes are going to be on the channel. Well I'll tell you what some of them are going to be. One is, I do have a website now. It is not up and running yet. We're still tweaking it. I started a Facebook page yesterday. So if you guys want to join, join me on Facebook, go to the Mobile Travelers Facebook page. 
That's the Mobile Travelers with an S. I know some of you had, re you know, sent me friend requests on my personal page, and I did not accept them just because that was my personal page. But this is the Mobile Travelers page. It's not my personal page, so we're good to go there. I'll accept them as long as, uh, as long as you're courteous and kind. Oh snap! I just did that, didn't I? Well, I'll wait on this hose a minute. I just dropped the uh, nuts. Okay. Yeah, I dropped a hose clamp, so I just got a different one. I didn't like that hose clamp anyway. It wasn't the right kind, right? You got to grunt and groan every now and then when you do these jobs. Otherwise, they, they're too easy, right? People will think you know what you're doing. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Yeah, make sure I tighten this down while I'm here. Otherwise, I'll forget. And then you know what will happen? We'll have another water leak. Anyway. <laughs> So where was I at? Oh, I was at the Mobile Travelers Facebook page. You guys uh, feel free to join it. The only real rules is you be courteous, you be kind, don't be a jerk. Because uh, if you're a jerk, you know what's going to happen. Hell, I'll just kick you off it. But there's going to be some announcements on there. And some pictures that might not be on YouTube. I'll be announcing some events or travel plans. Things like that on that Facebook page. So, come and join it. I'd love to hear from you. Sometimes it's easier to get input that way from people. Make your comments known and get to know some of the other people on there. It'll uh, it'll be good. Just about got her on there tight. There we go. There's one hole down. Make sure this other one's good and tight. Could have swore I did it, but I'm just gonna double check. I might put a socket on this bottom one just to ensure tightness. And I think I, uh, I think I will do that. Be right back. Might get lucky and have one of these ratchets to fit it. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. We'll tighten this up in no time. One of them ratcheting clothes and wrenches. And then I'll go ahead and I'll tighten up all the bolts on the actual water pump. Got them in place, they're just not tight. Beautiful. Anyway, what else is new? Uh, the uh, video quality will hopefully be a little better. I'm going to start using a different editing program. Videos may be longer, they may be shorter. I don't know yet. But. I will continue. I'm 
going to start a Sunday morning live chat. I haven't figured out a time yet, but it'll be long before the football games start. Because you know how I like my football. And now after I get these in here and tight, I will go get a another wrench so I can set the torque on them. And I believe they're supposed to be set at 45 pounds, if I remember right. Because that last one that I took off, oh, they were, those bolts were loose. They were not set at 45 pounds. I don't even think they were set at 20 pounds. So that's another thing. If it says set it at 45 PSI, you do it. And you don't have a torque wrench, you better get one if you're going to do it. And do it right. You can do it wrong. It'll last for a while. But. Grab my torque. So, I don't know what all I've talked about. I forgot. Anyway, the website will be up and running, and I will announce that when it's time. Okay, so I'm going to set this. At 45. And then I'm going to go back around and We'll see what we got. I can get in there. Might need a longer. Do 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 do. All right, well, you guys don't need to see this. I'm going to turn you off a minute so I can find my right tools. All right, got the right tools. Now I'm resetting the torque at 45 PSI. I was close. There we go, you're going to just pull it up until it clicks. I was close, but not right on. Beautiful. Okay, all right, torque is set. Now, take this little piece off. That's just protecting the the uh, threads on the water pump. Not needed. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to hook that lower radiator hose up. And then... We should be in tall shape here pretty quick, people. That thing will stay put. <clears throat> um, you know, I bet you guys are getting sick of me working on cars. Every now and then. You gotta do it though. And this is one way I can talk to you guys. Without a lot of interruptions. So what I'm gonna do actually there right now is I am gonna shut this camera off. I'm gonna finish my job. I'm gonna get cleaned up and then I'm gonna finish this video. How's that sound to y'all? Good? Fantastic. See you guys in a little bit.
running like a top and no leaks. All right, that's a woohoo moment. That's a wrap. All right, everybody. Now that that water pump's out of the way, we can move on to different things. How many of you guys are heading down to Quartzsite this year? Only three? What the hell? Oh, okay. I see one in the back. That's four. Anyway, now nah, I'm just messing. The water pumps are not that tough to put on, like I said. And I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit. That's why I taped it. Sometimes you guys want to see real life. That's real life. Anyway, oh, I got other videos. You ought to see that tire I had to change the other day. Woo! That's not pretty. Lost words, Randy. That ain't happening. I think I'm going to have to cut this and go to take four. Nah, I'm going to leave it. Anyway, you know how I always say love one another if you can, and if you can't, you try harder? Well, today I'm just going to say this. Let's try to make somebody else's day just a little bit better. A little bit better than how it started. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you can do it. Figure it out. Till next time, this is Randy the Mobile Traveler. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Well, I don't know about that one in the back. I, I, I don't know. Come on back. Next video. Hit the like and you know what? If you don't like it, hit it anyway. Gotta go.